नमस्कार नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्केलर एंड वेक्टर फिजिकल क्वांटिटी नाउ बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम द स्कूल इट सेल्फ वी आर अवेयर अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ स्केलर फिजिकल क्वांटिटी एंड वेक्टर फिजिकल क्वांटिटी द डेफिनेशन वी मे बी नोइंग दैट द फिजिकल क्वांटिटी व्हिच रिक्वायर्स the magnitude only for its complete description is known as scalar physical quantity and the vector physical quantity needs the direction along with the magnitude for its complete description now the word complete description is important now with some example we will uh, discuss or we will uh, make some clarification between scalar and vector see if i ask you uh, mass of certain object suppose here it is a stone and if i ask what is the mass of this stone then we say that it is say for example 2 kg it is fine similarly suppose there is a uh, string and if i ask for what is the length therefore we will have to measure the length of this string and i can say that it is 1.5 meter if i ask you what is the time uh, you spend for your homework then uh, you may say that the time spent for the homework is 15 minute it should not be 15 minute it should be more than that at least 2 hour 4 hour etc but let it be just for the sake of numerical values we can say that now see when when you receive the answers of these questions nothing was in your mind whether uh, some information is additional information is needed or not you have satisfied with these answers but suppose if i ask you uh, a question that if you are standing somewhere here okay you are you are here standing somewhere here at this point and if i ask you that you, if you travel a distance of 2 meter what will be your new position now for that uh, it is just the 2 meter is not sufficient because immediately you may ask a question that along which direction if we travel along the direction of east say for example a distance of 2 meter you will be somewhere here okay this will be your new position but if you travel along the north direction then this can be this will be your new position you will be here somewhere here and it 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 will depend also on whether it is inclined direction whether it is zigzag type of motion whether it is a random motion etc and you will observe that this 2 meter is not sufficient you have to say something about along east along west etc similarly if i ask you a question that if i apply the force of 2 newton on this object here it is the object and if i apply force of 2 newton on it what will be the acceleration because we are aware about the uh, uh, newton second law from the newton second law uh, we can write a simplified form of newton second law is force is equal to mass into acceleration and therefore for the acceleration uh, you can calculate it by f upon m but if i say that what is the acceleration only the magnitude of 2 newton is not sufficient along which direction obviously because the acceleration is also needs the direction if i say that the particle is accelerating with the acceleration of 1 meter per second square then that is not sufficient it needs the direction along x axis correct i can say that it is along x axis or i can say that in upward direction correct and this is important means now you will observe that these are the physical quantities which can be completely described there is no additional information required for the description of that quantity for that physical entity just the magnitude is sufficient whereas these are the physical quantities or like this there are several physical quantities for their complete description it needs the direction along with their magnitude and hence we can say that the quantity which requires the magnitude as well as the direction for their complete description is known as the vector physical quantity whereas the physical quantity which can be described completely only by means of their magnitude is known as scalar physical quantity okay therefore this is basically uh, the difference between uh, scalar and vector physical quantity thank you